Alrighty, figured I'd make this video to show all you other Droid users out there uh, how to successfully uh, root your phone with the new app Z4 Root. Uh, real easy app. There was another app out there before uh, that's been taken off the market called Easy Root, uh, which is no longer available. Um, I'm assuming it does approximately the same thing. I did not get Easy Root before. Um, just a normal Droid user. Uh, don't have much experience. Uh, so I wanted to show what you need to do to root the phone with Z4 Root. Uh, I will show you here. I have already done this once and unrooted the phone. Um, so I just opened up Wireless Tether, which is an app that a lot of people get it for. Sorry, but root privileges are needed to run this application. So I'm going to hit exit. So I have not, uh, my phone is not currently rooted. Um, I have unrooted it as well. Um, I've rooted it, then unrooted it just to make sure the whole process does work, so the full app does work, um, and I've had good success with it. Um, basically, what you want to do is go to the market and download Z4 Root. So I'll do a search here, Z4 R-O-O-T, and search, and it does come up here for Z4 Root. Uh, as you can see, I do already have it installed. Uh, however, it will come up as download and free if um, you don't have it already installed. I just figured no reason to uninstall it just for the video process. Uh, so once you have it downloaded, you'll see the download up in the upper left hand corner. Uh, and once you have it downloaded, it will be uh, in your app list here. As you can see here, Z4 root loads up. And at the bottom, you'll see this will re this will root your device and enable you to supply system level access to applications that request it. BusyBox will also be installed, and that's thanks to Ryan ZA. Thanks Ryan ZA for making such a great app for all us uh, Droid users looking for a simple one-click way to root. And on here in the middle, you can see uh, one tip, one-click access to root. I will hit the root button. At the bottom it says running exploit in order to obtain root access. Uh, I do recommend uh, doing a uh, phone reboot before you try this. Um, I did not with my phone. It did get stuck in uh, this level of the root process. Uh, I did look up online. Some other people had the same issue. Just reboot your phone, whether it's pulling the battery or just uh, rebooting it, and um, it will uh, work the second time. Uh, that was my experience with it. Please wait while root completes your device's root by rebooting. I forget exactly what it said there, but it is rebooting the phone at this point to complete the reboot process. Uh, while that's happening, I will show you here. Um, this is a list of compatible uh, phones that this app will work on. This is straight from droidforms.net. You can see up there in the upper left hand corner if it can focus there. Uh, thanks also droidforms.net uh, for helping all us droid users out um, and providing a great forum for us to chat about uh, different things droid. So that's the list for compatible phones. The droid 1 2.2.1 is a uh, typo. It is just 2.2. Uh, incompatible is here. Um, so if you do have one of those phones I would suggest not um, trying this app. Um, also check on the uh, forums of other users that do have your phone just to make sure that the um, Z4 root has worked for them. I would recommend that, but it has worked great for me with uh, Droid X running 2.2. Uh, and preparing SD card, boot as usual. We'll unlock it here. As you can see, it's still booting up my time. It still hasn't uh, booted. And basically, you want to look for an app called Super User. Uh, once the root process has been done, it will automatically install that to the phone. So go to my app list here, scroll down to S, and you should find it's a little sort of skull pirate looking logo. There it is there. Let me refocus. Super User right here, as you can see. I will click it. No apps and list. Um, it's ready to update. That's just something that you can log and put some apps that uh, require root uh, or ROMs into. Uh, but I will now go show you, as I showed you, wireless tether did not work in the beginning. Press to start tethering. I will press. Please wait. Basically, this is saying allow super user access. So I will hit allow. 
please wait while starting. And as you can see, it comes up says press to stop tethering. And I do have um, my uh, data transfer here at the bottom. So that is working. Uh, also in the upper left hand corner you can see the uh, wireless tether logo. Uh, so I am broadcasting the signal. And all my other apps and such uh, are working correctly. I've used it for a few days before making this video and unrooting uh, to make this video for you. And again, if you go into Z4 root, hit allow. You can see in the center now it says reroute or unroute. I did use the unroute uh, to show you this video so I could reroute the phone. Um, the reroute is simply if you're just having some issues with uh, uh, the way it was rooted. Uh, it's just recommended to try to reroute instead of unrooting and then rerouting again. The only prep reason I went with the unroot is to completely take off uh, the root from my phone uh, for this video here for you today. So any other questions I can um, let's see what I can do just post uh, underneath the video. I am just a normal droid user uh, not any kind of whiz as far as programming or anything so this is what I was looking for it was a simple one click uh, way to root my droid X after uh, easy tether was uh, not available on the market anymore and um, yeah I can help you out with anything else and just because I will go in and show you that I meant to do this earlier about phone I am running Android version 2.2 as you can see there just wanted to show that to you um, so running 2.2 and again thanks to um, the guys at droidforums.net as well as uh, makers of Z4 root uh, Ryan ZA. Uh, thanks for some great apps and a uh, great website to go on to find out more information about uh, droids in general. All right. And thanks and have a good night to all those droid users out there. Hope this works out well for you as good as it did for me. And uh, enjoy wireless tether as well as other apps that you need uh, to be rooted for. All right. Bye bye.